Oh, hello friends, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we are doing a roundup of ab mat products. Now I get asked all the time, what do you think of this ab mat product? What do you think of that ab mat product? What do you think of that one? There are a ton of these. I've been able to use all of these actually quite extensively, some more than others because I like some more than others and some I find more useful than others. And then I'll give you my full take on each one. Let's do it. Okay, so Abmat sent out a box of crap, uh, a lot of foam. Actually, they sent all this for free so we could do a review, so thank you, Abmat. But just so you know, this is still gonna be an honest take. You can watch the end of the video and you can find out for yourself, but it'll be an honest take. Also, if you wanna purchase any of these, we'll put some links below the like button like all of our other videos. If you purchase through there, it supports us. Thank you for doing so. The company will pay us a small commission, doesn't increase your purchase price, but does allow us to continue making excellent content. Okay, so I'm gonna start with their basic one, and that is the Abmat. This is what they're known for, but this is a unique version. This is the upgraded version. Abmat pretty much made one style of product, which is this, their name, Abmat. Even their logo was in the Abmat style. It was made to look like an Abmat. And the reason these are nice is because you can use them to prevent chafing on the back of your lower back, but also allows you to use it in different ways. So you can use it, I remember using it a lot for handstand push-ups. You basically put plates up to it and then you can use it for handstand push-ups, but you can also use it for kneeling. But they've come out with a new version using some new foam that they pretty much use now in a majority of their products. And this is actually a similar foam, just not as dense as what Rogue uses on their AB 3.0 bench, which is really nice. So it's a very nice foam, honestly, out of all of the ab mats that are out there, ab mat's the king. Like if you're gonna get an ab mat, go with ab mat. The originals, they're made in the USA. They last a long time. Their customer service is really good. It's just a very versatile tool and pretty cheap. So if you're gonna get one, I recommend ab mat. And this is the one I recommend with the foam. These are loadable dumbbell cushions. Let me get a dumbbell and show you how they work. So this is how it works. You take your plates just like you ordinarily would and put them on your loadable dumbbell. This one is from Gungner which is a very bougie one, but allows you to use collars built in. You then take this and put it on the end. Wow, did you hear that? That was nice. Oh, that's very nice. It's perfectly sized to fit on the end of an Olympic sleeve. And you're probably asking yourself, why would I want that? If you're asking yourself, why would you want that on the end? It's because you've never used loadable dumbbells on a bench press because they suck to use if you don't have anything there, especially if you're going heavyweight. Because here's the reality, if you've just been in a commercial gym or just have fixed dumbbells, you wouldn't experience it because you have a flat end on the end of a dumbbell. But the reason that loadable dumbbells suck they have a lot of great purposes because you can go really heavy with them and they feel like barbells. They're really great for that, but they suck because you've got this Olympic sleeve that was not made to be used on the end of your knee, pressing in with hundreds of pounds potentially for me, for Sam, 20 pounds or so, but pressing into your knee, now you have a loadable little pillow <laughs> for the end of your dumbbell to sit on your knee. And it's actually, allows it to stand up really well. I really like these. I think for most people, like you're not gonna use these unless you have loadable dumbbells. And if you do have loadable dumbbells, I think it may be kind of dubious how often you use them. And the reason I'd say that is because you have to put them on after you put the weights on every time, but they're light enough that when you're pressing, you don't really notice it's there. It's not like it's adding a ton of extra weight to make it more difficult. And if you're really worried about it being offset, just throw another one on the other end and then you're good. I don't think these are an absolute game changer because you're not just using these for presses, you're also using them for curls and other things, so you're not gonna use them all the time. But if you're looking to make your shoulder presses, your dumbbell presses, and stuff like that, feel more comfortable when you're using dumbbells that are loadable, I think these are an option. That said, I think the tennis ball still works and isn't as comfortable as this, but is a DIY cheap way to do it. Maybe let me know in the comments if you have any DIY ideas for using this. My honest take, I like them, but you, you have to be a pretty specific person to actually be able to get use out of these. This is the hip thruster pad from Abmat. Hip thrusters can be really annoying to do if you just have a barbell, they hurt they're uncomfortable to get into place. There's just a lot of things about hip thrusters that just don't feel great. 
I do think they can be a good exercise. I don't think they're equal to like a squat or a hinge, deadlift, things like that. But I throw them in my training and actually what I use for it is now this. And it allows you to use a barbell without it just feeling absolutely awful across your hips. And so it's got this heavy canvas on the outside. And then on the inside, it's a few layers of foam and then a plastic sheet on one end. You put the foam down and then the more the plastic, the harder sheet up and that allows it to sit comfortably against your waist. Now, I don't think this is perfect. There's a couple things that, about this that I don't love. Number one is I wish it was wider. I feel like it's just too thin. I don't really know why they made this thin. There's times when you're using it and if you go heavy, the barbell feels like it can roll back and roll off. It'd be nice if like this was wider and then it could sit all the way across. You kind of just have to perfectly position it so it works. The other thing is it's not attached to the barbell and because it's not attached to the barbell, the barbell can roll. I think it'd be kind of cool if there's a way for it to attach to a barbell in some way. So it just sat with the barbell there and then you know it's not gonna roll off. The other thing is there's just a lot of options to use for hip thrusts. I think this is a good option that's currently available, but I still don't think there's an ideal option for hip thrusts, except for the machines. I have not used a pad, and this is one, I think it's okay, but I haven't used a pad yet that's like, oh, that's the best hip thrust option that ever will come out. This one still feels like it could be improved. Um, if you're looking for a hip thrust pad, this is currently the best one, at least the one that I use if you're using a barbell, but I still think they could be better. Okay, so this is the barbell bomb. Actually, Abmat reached out and they said that they had watched our video where we did home gym hacks and saw that we took a tennis ball chopped it off and put it on the end of a barbell. And then we used that and recommended people use that for landmine presses. So they made a version that is kind of like that, but is superior in that it grips a little bit more to the ground and also is more protective. But the reason that's nice is because when you're using landmines, you're using in all directions. If you're using a lot of weight or putting a ton of forward force into it, this thing will move a little bit depending on the surface that you're on. But if you're using it in the corner, this works really well and it's also very cheap. If I'm doing them, I do prefer landmines that are built into the rack. They just feel more secure. That said, for like a cheaper option and one that you can easily take off, put on, put wherever, outside or inside. It doesn't have to be fixed to a rack. You can just use it out however you want. I mean, this is a really good option. So if you're looking for something to attach on a barbell for a landmine, don't want a full on landmine, I think this one works well. This is their crash cushion. And this is a smaller version of their normal crash cushion. And really what they're designed for is so when you drop weights, they don't make as much noise. Pretty simple. So they're called crash cushions because you're crashing the weights down on them and it cushions it. This one is a specific version for these things called DC blocks, which are kind of like Legos for lifters. But one of the things I don't like about them is they don't make any specialized top for them. So Abmat partnered with DC blocks to make them with this little lip in here and a grippy underside so they fit right on top which is very nice because I'll use these for like box squats. I'll use them for like jerk blocks, pulling blocks, things like that. And that allows me to have a cushion on top that does not move out of the way because it's both grippy and locked in. I think these are pretty cool. And honestly, I would say the crash cushions are probably ab mats best and best selling product besides their normal ab mats. Okay, next is the Preacher Pad. This is done in combination with a guy named Adam from Garage Gym Lab, who is also a reviewer. I personally think that Preacher Curl Benches in a home gym is a really stupid idea. It does one thing, it takes up a ton of space and works one of the smallest muscles on your body. I understand vanity and we all want bigger arms, but I think there are much better uses of both your funds and space than a dedicated Preacher Curl Bench. However, I recognize a lot of people love doing preacher curls. They're used to doing them in a commercial gym, so they wanna be able to do them in a home gym. And that's where I think this is perfect. Of all the options that are out there for preacher curls, I really think for home gym owners, this is really the best option because it stores up on the wall or in really small space. It's very lightweight, easy to move around, and feels very similar to a preacher curl. It's not as good as a normal preacher curl because it's not a dedicated bench. It doesn't have an adjustable height. It doesn't have multiple options. I guess you could turn it like this. It's really made just for preacher curls and you have to set it on your legs. I also think the price point for the quality is pretty good too because the foam is really high density, feels really good, as is the vinyl. This is a product that honestly, if you're gonna preach a curl, this is the best option that's out there in a home gym. I haven't used anything that I like more than this. 
Okay, I've got two more products. This one is the box squat pad. I'll just speak on it quickly. It's a big block of foam. So you go down and it basically removes the ability to like pop back up. So you set down on it and then you come back up and it basically makes it more difficult. I like squatting with a pad, but I will say squatting this feels very good. And you can also use it for other things. So I've talked about using some of these for like placing your knee on or using it to sit on or using it, put your knees on for Nordic curls. I think this is a cool option. It is quite expensive. And unless you're doing a ton of box squats, I think you're fine just using it on a normal box squat box. But of the foam options that are available for a box squat, this is the best one that's out there. Okay, and lastly, this is a new, thing that's come out um, is done in collaboration. Like a lot of this stuff, it's done in collaboration with influencers or people in the fitness space that know what they're doing. This one is done with the Ready State, which is Kelly Sturette's company. Uh, it's called the Split Squat. This one is the Split Squat Pro. It does what you probably think it does. This is a two inch hole. So this two inch hole allows you to place it on the end of a barbell and then suddenly you have an attachment like many have on their racks to do split squats, to place your leg up on. This one is using the really high quality foam and it's very dense. It is like a hexagon shape, which most rollers are circular. I'm not sure if I love it or not yet. It may be because I'm used to the circle design, but it does feel kind of comfortable because you can put your, basically your foot, the top of your foot this way, and then your ankle this way, and it kind of locks in there, which does feel good. But I think just because I'm so used to the circle design, that may be what I prefer. But I do think this is a cool option for people that don't have racks, that are one inch holes that accept those. And this could be used universally where you don't have to buy another attachment. You can just use the barbell you've already got. The problem with it is you have to load the other side of the barbell. And I worry like if you don't lock that side of the barbell and let's say you not, don't put an adequate amount of weight so it lifts off, falls off, or let's say it's too heavy so it makes the bar come up. It's just kind of a unique way to load it. But I think if you were able to dial in the amount of weight that goes on one side, that's not gonna lift the barbell up and you use this one without putting too much pressure down, I think it can work. I think it's a cool addition for people that are using home gyms and don't wanna pay the extra for an attachment. I will say, if you're gonna spend this much for the pro version, you might as well get an attachment. And if you're able to spend this much on a block of foam, then you might as well get a higher end rack where you can actually accept attachments. Okay, there is a lot of AbMap products. Some of them I like in varying degrees, some I think you can pass. The ones that I think are really interesting that stand out to me are that barbell bomb for landmine presses, the preacher curl, if you really like preacher curls, and also standard ab mat, I use that thing a lot. But have you used any of their products? Is there any other company that's a smaller manufacturer? You guys ask us all the time. Review more smaller manufacturers. This is an example of us listening to you. If you want us to review any others, let me know in the comments. Are there any AbMat products that maybe I skipped over? They do make some other stuff. I'd love to hear from you if you want us to review them. Let us know in the comments. This has been Coop from Garage and Reviews, and we will see you next time. Peace.